Hey, what's up guys? Chip here. Uh, I want to talk a little bit now about uh, UV mapping uh, inside of SketchUp um, and some of the issues uh, that you may see as you're moving it into Unity. So let's take a, uh, let's do a, we're going to do a couple objects here. Push pull this. Uh, there you go. Let's push pull that a little bit there. Okay. And I'll create one more object here. Push pull this. Okay. So I'm going to take each one of these. Actually, let's take this one first. Let's add some fillets to it. Shift, shift, wire, uh, x ray mode, and shift. And then I hit the F key for my Frito uh, fillet tool. And I've got six. And I could say that's uh, 20. Let's say. 25 bigger or maybe 15 we'll try 15 okay that looks good okay so I've got a this and uh, now I'm gonna uh, basically stick this and group it and this and group it and I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna actually map these with something I know that's a good a good map uh, and the reason for this is that I know that we're gonna have problems importing this into uh, as separate materials into uh, uh, into uh, 3D code. So let's go into 3, 3D code right now. And actually, yeah, I'll launch this other version. Okay, so now, okay, we're in 3D code and let's uh, load. Uh, we, didn't, we didn't export that, did we? No. File, export 3D model. There it is. Yeah. Okay. We add 120 faces to materials. Okay, go into 3D coat and we'll open this up. And okay, so if we just basically leave this in the default, say treat materials, no center span, uh, what happens is we get our texture editor and we just have one. And we want to have two different textures, but we only have one. So that's not any good. So let's go file, new, don't save. So, I, so the uh, 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 lead programmer for 3D coat said, uh, there's a way to force it to bring in those uh, those other objects, and let's look at what that is. Uh, let's go to here, open this up. Okay, so the way to do that is we'll leave these on or not. It doesn't really matter. You can leave them. It really doesn't matter. But what you don't want to do is you want to say keep the UVs. When you say keep UVs, that's what's going to do it. Also, let's make them really small because you're going to get this warning that they're out of bounds, and it may take a while for it to import. Uh, takes a lot longer even with a small UV because the textures are just so completely crazy so uh, uh, here's our objects let's go into our uh, uh, our UV directly into UVs and you can start to see we've got some weird things going on uh, this is the first one um, and what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna basically say let's auto map this okay now much better and we can pack the UVs. Okay, now they're done. Now let's go to the, that's the wood bamboo. Let's go to this other wood and let's uh, auto map that. And pack UVs. And we go back to the paint and say, okay, okay. And now we have uh, our auto mapped objects. Well, then we can, now we can see that our UVs look a lot better. So let's go into a smart material and I'm going to go into the wood one and I'm going to grab uh, this one and I'm going to set it to UV mapping and you start to see right away what's going to happen here when I when I uh, basically try and map let's turn the paint objects let's turn that one off so you'll see uh, let's do a fill actually before, yeah if I fill whole layer now we'll see we have really low resolution that's because Remember, we set that to 64. So let's go back up into here. Uh, let's go to layers. Let's go into here into the textures or edit uh, our resolution. Let's set that to 1024. So I'll put both of these into 1024. Say OK. OK. Now if I just hit the fill button. OK, so you can start to see 
Now notice that, that we don't get much, uh, we're not getting the grains running this way and this one, this way and this one, and this way and this one. So we really want to be able to flip those around so they, they run in the right direction. Um, so we know the top of this box, we want to flip that grain so it goes, goes long ways like this. So we can have the grain wrap all the way around like that. Um, and uh, uh, also while we're in here, we're going to need to delete the curvature calculation and with this selected it's going to re recalculate the curvature so let's go ahead and map this i'm going to go back into the uv room here and i'm going to select the correct one and you can see now that that top one is the first one that we want to do so i'm going to first want to look and see do we want to you know all our seams look pretty good i'm going to go up in here to the sample check and go into this complex checker so it's going to show me some some characters and the first thing I want to do is select this top one I'll keep clicking around over here until I until I get the top one oops that's it right there and I am going to rotate that in one direction and then I want to flip the use so it's actually readable so you can see now that we're, we're looking right so now uh, with that selected uh, let's go to the next one this one and I'll rotate that counterclockwise and I'll flip the UVs on that. That looks, whoops, I'm sorry, rotate clockwise. That's actually exactly the way I want it. If you can see, Command D is uh, deselect. As you can see, it's the, the characters are going cor correct around. So let's take this uh, bottom section uh, here and it needs to be rotated counterclockwise there and we flip the U's oops flip the V's and flip the U's there we go so uh, that looks like it's right and so now let's go to the very last one right here and it needs to be rotated counterclockwise and flip the U's Oops. I'm sorry, then I got there. Okay, rotate. And then let's go to the end caps. This one, uh, let's rotate it counterclockwise. Oops. Actually, wrong one. Go to this one, rotate it, and then flip the use. Oops. Okay, and then we'll go to the last one and rotate it. And flip the use okay so now that's all set now what I need to be careful of is if I say pack UV at this time to organize these what's going to happen is it actually automatically move them around to optimize that which I don't want because now they're all back so I'm gonna undo that and uh, and make sure that okay we're all locked and loaded there yeah, that, that all looks correct actually this one right here doesn't uh, Yeah, that one does. That one does. Yeah, they're all right. Okay, so what I want to do, instead of saying pack UV, I want to do auto scale. Now, that'll keep the orientation correct for all of these. Once I've done that, I'm going to go to the paint room and apply this. And again, uh, now with my with this selected, I want to delete the, the curvature. So that it rebuilds it remaps it and uh, I'm going to delete that and now I'll again go into UV mapping and let's go ahead and fill whole layer and you can see now we have a very nice wooden box that's mapped mapped pretty correctly okay so uh, anyway so that's our that's how that works uh, just wanted everyone to see how how easy it is to uh, do uh, mapping in 3D code. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks.